you know, I think I said this about Marquette during the season. Um, you know, playing certain programs, it's uh, you know feels like a you know privilege because of uh, you know what they stand for, how they do it, and and you know how good they are. So uh, you know to be able to play the national championship versus Purdue, um, you know, and how good they are, and how Matt runs things. Uh, it's a real privilege to play them for the championship. I couldn't help but notice you sat down at the dais with a, with a little manila folder. If you could take us into uh, where you are with prep, and is that just a typical scouting report? Genu genuinely curious about uh, where you're at right now. Yeah, so, um, you know, immediately after the game, um, you know, after the media was done, you literally, you know, get that tablet as soon as you get on the bus. And I was into... Uh, you know, you're into you're into Purdue on the on the way back to the hotel. We were able to, you know, probably you know I, I was able to consume you know three games uh, before I went to bed last night. Luke Murray uh, obviously was was prepping for the winner uh, of that game. So um, you know, I've been able to you know catch you know six of their games already. I'll imagine I'll watch you know maybe eight, um, and then that's all kind of the the analytics uh, scouting report. Uh, some of that type of stuff. For Dan and the players, can you guys reflect on, on how great of a matchup this is for, for men's college basketball? This is one versus two. Yeah, I think it's a great matchup, you know, between two teams who have had two great years. Um, obviously, you know, we have a lot of respect for them as a program. You know, they're in national championship for a reason. And, you know, I'm sure People have been waiting to see this one for a while, but you know we're, we're locked in and we'll be ready to go. Tristan. Uh, yeah, we've been the uh, two best programs the past two years. Uh, us and Purdue, and um, it's a great matchup. We're looking forward to it. You know, the coaches are gonna, you know, get us well prepared and, and ready to to have a good game tomorrow. Anything to add, coach? Yeah, I would just say I'm sure that uh, you know Cam endeared himself to their fans uh, while he was in the Big Ten. Are there differences between getting here the first time and doing it again? Um, you know, I, I think uh, listen when you when you, you know, when you break through that, that euphoria that you feel when um, you know when you when you punch your ticket to the Final Four and just you know the bigness of this event, um, uh, just participating in it for as a as a as a coach or a player. Uh, the experience, um, you know, this setting, uh, you know, the, the, the buses, the police escorts, the 70,000 people in the state. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's an incredible, um, it's an incredible experience. Um, and it doesn't, uh, you know, uh, the second time you make it feels just as good as the first. I wonder if you can identify a couple things that maybe about your program that have uh, allowed you to be in this position? Yeah, I think um, we, we, we're at, at this point, I think um, you know, we, we, we understand that we could, as Teddy Atlas would say, like, you know, pass on uh, some of the neon talents, uh, you know, to, to get our type of people. Um, obviously, there's, you know, there, there's, a, there's a baseline that you need in terms of size, athletic ability. You know, just ability with the basketball to, to do things, but we really hold out uh, to to get our type of people. Um, the staff continuity, you know, we've made it, you know, so so good. I think um, for guys like Kamani and Luke um, to to not take a low or, or mid major jobs. Uh, so I've been able to keep my staff intact. Um, you know, by by making sure they're they're taken care of. Um, you know, that way, but. We, we just haven't changed a lot, you know, like, I, I, you know, we, we don't kiss the kids, uh, you know, ass during recruiting. We don't kiss it while they're on campus. Um, you know, we, we bring tremendous value to our players because we're old school and we push them to get better and to become better people. And we teach them what, it, you know, how to become successful. I just, you know, I, I think we, we, we truly have, I think we try to play modern basketball with the use of analytics as I bought more into that, but it really held on to like old school values the way, you know, coaches, you know, maybe used to be more uh, where, um, you know, we're in charge <laughs> and, um, and we hold people accountable, but we, we play a modern style of ball.